Now the string of summer storms that we've seen in the high country has firefighters on high alert. Each lightning strike means another potential wildfire. Your Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson is live for us this evening in Frisco. Spencer, crews are out right now hunting one down. That's right, Michael. They are looking a little bit north of Silverthorne tonight, but they have been getting calls all week because of these lightning strikes, just one after another after another. The U.S. Forest Service has their work cut out for them. And we've had numerous lightning strikes over the last couple of weeks that have resulted in new wildfires. Like this one, just outside Frisco on the other side of I-70. Crews got to it and put it out before it became a real issue. But the sparked out stump is the proof of how easy it is for these lightning strikes to pop something off. When there's adequate moisture with uh, a new lightning event to keep a fire at bay, and sometimes that can be a couple of days, sometimes that can be a week or more. And essentially, you know, lightning strikes a receptive fuel bed, it starts a fire. Even if it's not right away, like a holdover fire. That rain plays a big part in keeping these fires in check, but it's not enough to stop them altogether. Just yesterday in Frisco, we saw a good number of strikes in just a 30 minute period of time, and the strikes keep coming long after that which means the fires can end up anywhere those bolts land. Anywhere we have a lightning event, uh, we could get that fire start. Often they're in remote locations, which sometimes go unnoticed uh, for a significant time period and uh, sometimes are quite difficult for firefighters to access. Now, firefighters told me there's not a whole lot that the public can actually do to help them with this besides not starting wildfires of their own. And of course, calling in those lightning strike wildfires if they do happen to see them. And like those firefighters were telling us, those holdover fires can actually pop up days or weeks afterwards once the area around it dries out from that rain. So you have to be really careful. Sometimes those storms are long gone before the fire actually starts itself. Live in Frisco, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. All right, Spencer, thank you. And Spencer doesn't just cover our high country for you. He lives there, and he wants to know what's happening in our mountain communities. You can send him your ideas through our website, cbscolorado.com, or give him a call on our tips line.